So, um, last night, uh, a former student and a friend of mine came to chat with me uh, while I was at work. And I was telling them about um, knowledge advantage or knowledge advantage and how and why it's so important to have father figures in your life. Um, especially uh, if you're a child, and um, especially if you're a parent and you want your child to succeed. So with knowledge stack, knowledge advantage basically is having that extra knowledge, accumulative knowledge or advantage um, that your competitors or people you're trying to compete with don't have access to. And so I was telling him about uh, basically some of the best boxers, some of the best MMA athletes in almost every sport also, um, which are trained by their parents or trained at a very young age, right? And trained by uh, a close relative, but more, in most cases trained by their dad, and in some cases by their mom since they were a very young age, right? And so by the time they started competing at a high level in the com competitive arena, they already had that knowledge advantage. And what happens by the time they competed professionally, they already had 10 years in, and they started around the age of four, five, maybe eight. And by the time they're 18 or 20, they already had like 10 years of fine tuning. Now, the difference between training while you're a kid versus training as an adult is two different things. When you're being trained as an adult, you're training for a specific outcome. When you're training as a child, you're training for a skill acquisition where that skill becomes part of you, right? And so it's two different things, it's very different. Um, when you train a child since they're a kid, um, it becomes part of them, right? And so um, in the talent code written by Daniel Corey, it talks about myelin. And basically myelin is that um, nerve, the bundle of nerve at the end of your muscle or um, how your brain works so that it be, um, you get smarter and faster and you make decisions quicker because you have done it over and over and over and over again, right? And so what happens, your movement is faster or maybe you're stronger in that specific move that's called myelin, right? And so basically, um, knowledge advantage, you know, and um, I give things for my daughter to do, I tell her to do certain things. Now granted, she's not into martial art at all, I wish she was, but I try to teach her in other aspects, and I probably will be, I probably will attain the success that I desire, but hopefully all the knowledge and wisdom and experience I pass on to my daughter, it will pay a dividend when she gets older, you know? And this is so important. So if you look at communities that lack father figures, uh, they're missing that. They're missing that important component, you know. And I'll compound that by communities that lack father figures who are professionals or entrepreneurs or business owners. They're not giving their children competitive advantage in the sense of how to navigate the world at a very high level. Uh, the ability to create wealth, you know what I mean? Like, in, in the public school system, and in most cases, people teach you how to work and make money, that's it, but not obtain wealth. Obtaining wealth is very elusive. It, it's, it's like a skill that needs to be studied and harnessed, and it's so hard to do. And um, I feel I'm, very, I'm the cusp of it. I, I feel like I'm very close. I, I just lack the uh, leverage or the resources, but I've been spending years studying and reading and figuring things out running my own business and failing and failing and picking myself up and um, and if you look at the black community, Hispanic community or any community that lacks father figures and lack fathers who are very driven and basically bring the children along, you know, it's, it's compound and then their kids don't have it and their kids